Well, I've had Street Fighter II Big Blue for over two years now. This is a cabinet that I'll never be able to part with. I've had it for the longest out of the three Street Fighter IIs. This is the oldest. There's something very unique about it, not just the size of this, but a current game. I'm not a big fighter. I do like my beat-em-ups. There's a beat-em-up on here that I'll never be able to be without. But here's my thoughts on after having this for two years, is it worth picking up? Currently about $4.99 you could pick this up for. Should you consider the pros and the cons? Here's my two year review on Big Blue Street Fighter II. Just to go over some of the basics, this cabinet stands over 67 inches tall, coming in at about 67 and a quarter. One of the highest arcade one-up cabinets yet. Now consistency does become a little bit of a problem with this cabinet, even though it's so high, it's over 67 inches tall. The control deck's a tad bit low, coming in at about 35 and a quarter, 35 and a half at the bottom of the panel. As you get closer to the monitor, it does get a little bit higher, 37, 37 and a quarter, but still it's a lot lower than a lot of the other control decks I have. The best way in fact, the only way to really play this cabinet is sitting on the stool that it came with. It's a nice stool. It's a nice Street Fighter II stool. It's nice when you buy a cabinet and it comes with a, a stool. You have a choice if you want to keep it or if you want to sell it. But, you know, if you do pick this up, and, and $4.99 currently right now, maybe you can find one for $3.99 brand new. You get the stool, and I recommend holding on to it because I'm telling you, you're gonna wanna sit at this when you're playing this cabinet. Playing through one of my favorite games, and I'll get to what that is on this cabinet. I mean, one of, first of all, the, the, the style of this cabinet is pretty much the, the look that I wanna go for in this arcade. But also, the, you know, the game has to be important too. There's a game on here that it's not on any other Street Fighter II cabinet, and I'll never be able to part with it. The problem is, is it takes about 30, 35 minutes to play through, maybe even 40. And by that time, my wrists are so fatigued from just being in this position. Even if I was on a stool or I was standing up, that's about all I can handle when I play this. And you know, other cabinets, different control deck layouts, different styles, it's a little bit more comfortable. But unfortunately, one of the biggest drawbacks on this cabinet is this control deck. And there's things you can do, but out of the box, you may run into a little bit of an issue where you know, at my old age, my wrist just, you know, can't take this position for a very long time. One of the best things about this control deck is the fact that you can light it up. You can change it to whatever color you want, or you can leave it on a shuffle where it's just going to go through all the colors, kind of like the track mode on a game. And, it, you know, not every cabinet comes with this. So, I mean, there's something about that. Yeah, the controls are, are the controls. This is before... Killer Instinct before Street Fighter 2 Turbo where they did improve the sticks a little bit. The buttons have always been the same. But the sticks, very similar to if you have NBA Jam, if you have Shack Jam, get that little bit of, of play here before you hear that clickiness. So obviously a lot of people change out the sticks, but for me I've left everything stock on my arcades when it comes to controls. But after, you know, two years, two and a half years, they've held up pretty good. Now my favorite game on here is... Knights of the Round, and that was one of the reasons why I picked this cabinet up. Not big on fighters. This is the only cabinet that has Knights of the Round, and in fact, it is available online. Played a lot of online games. My only gripe about Knights of the Round is it's a three-player game. We can only play two players, and that's, that's pretty much the typical trend when it comes to Arcade 1-Up. Even if you have Battletoads, a three-player game, you can only get two players on here. So, you know, kind of a drawback when it comes to not being able to play it for what it is. I did crank the volume all the way to 15. Usually I don't play this loud, but the, I don't really have anything to complain about with the speakers as far as the sound. I think they're high enough where it, it comes right at you. It's not like they're facing down or, or they're facing up. You're, you're getting that really in your face but you don't have those grill covers. So, you know, this is before we got those nice speaker grills. It's just basically holes in the MDF. You get that great BOE monitor. There's no bad angle looking at this. Turn the lights off. It's just, it's crisp. 
perfect looking game. Get the nice bezel on the side of the Street Fighter II Champion Edition and the rules of the game. You, know, you, you get that real arcade feel of everything you would see on a Street Fighter II cabinet back in the 90s. But unfortunately, you don't get a molded coin door with this cabinet. And another drawback is the complete artwork. And, you know, for years, I've just kind of just went with it. But going through all my arcades and lighting up the coin doors, I do have a couple that I was able to purchase through Arcade One Up Direct. I believe they were about $15 a piece. You pay the shipping and, you know, you can put it on any cabinet that you don't have a coin door. The problem is, is what do you do here? Do you, do you cover up, do you go right in the middle and just, just kind of live with it? Do you cover this all with black or with blue? Or do you just leave it the way it is? And, you know, the issue with this is it's just not cut out. Similar to like Golden Axe with all the games lists underneath the control deck. Like, what do you do if you want to put that coin door in? And another drawback with this cabinet, usually I'm a really positive, and it's not that I'm knocking this cabinet, but I want to point out everything that isn't completely up to par when it comes with Big Blue, and that's the marquee. It's great. It's huge. Love the size of this marquee. In fact, it's about eight and three quarters. I mean, just under nine inches tall. And it's just a tad under 17 and three quarters. So, I mean, it's a huge marquee. Nothing, nothing better than... You know, big marquee. The problem is, it's turning up the lights. Can't really tell on the camera, but it's not that bright. There's only one LED strip going through here. A lot of mods, a lot of people have brightened this up. There's other cabinets where the marquee doesn't look as bright. I think Shack Jam is similar to that. I have just learned to live with this. But you know, if you want a brighter marquee, if you want more light coming right at you, you can take this off and install some more LED lights because it's just a tad on, you know, the, the dimmer side. And a funny line that P-Dubs once used was, first of all, it looks like a giant ice scraper from the side. I always loved when he, when he referenced that. And every time I look at this or I see one, I always remember that statement. It's just really funny. And the fact that it does, in fact, look like it's been through a drive-by. And, you know, taking the words right out of P-Dubs' mouth, but we can fix this. We can take screw cap covers and, and blend it in a little bit, similar to you know, how Time Crisis is looking over here. You can see right here over his pants, you know, having matching cap colors, just blending in with the artwork. There is a seller on Etsy that I just, I just haven't gotten around to getting that yet, but you know, being on the outside of an aisle, definitely want to cover those up because you know when they're side by side, you can't really see them, but yeah, this really sticks out. And it's just visible everywhere you look, on, on the riser. I mean, just, just comparing it with, with how time crisis, how you know, they sell cabinets now. You, know, you get a Deluxe, you get an XL, they throw these in. They, they didn't do that before. And, I mean, there's things that they've improved on, and then there's things that they've actually went back in time, you know, kind of backwards, and you know, we thought that was addressed, and then kind of, you know, starting from the uh, drawing board again. But other than that, like these are the cons about this cabinet, but there's so much good that outweigh kind of the, the downs on this cabinet. That's why I want to kind of start out with, you know, the cons. The pros is you get 12 games on here. You get online games. You got a great size marquee and it's such an iconic looking cabinet. And the thing about the online games, if you have friends with a Street Fighter 2 cabinet. It doesn't necessarily have to be a big blue. You can play online with them. Or if you're tight for space, you know, I mean, let's face it, it's hard to get two grown people, you know, surrounded this control deck, which is probably, you know, about 19, 20 inches wide. If you have another cabinet, you actually play online in the same room. Yeah, right at 19. So yeah, it's definitely tough to get two, you know, adults, grown size, people hovered around this control deck. And again, the online option, it helps, especially when you're like me. You got three Street Fighter, yeah, you might only need two. But yeah, there's, there's three here. In fact, now that I think about it, Big Blue was the first Street Fighter II cabinet to have online on it. So yeah, the, the, the original 
first couple Street Fighter 2s, the, the Capcom Legacy, and then the, the Gen 1 Street Fighter, didn't have the online play. This was the first. This was the, the heavy fighter, Street Fighter 2. But not every game is, is on other cabinets online that's, that Big Blue has. But if you're looking at just the Street Fighter 2 fighters, something like Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and you go to an online game, if you have another cabinet, in, 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 you know, in the, in the, a friend has it, or you know, in your home, or in this room, you can actually play yourself, you could play a friend. We have a Street Fighter 2 over here. I got another one tucked against the wall over here. We'll try this out. We'll see if we can in fact play a game on, on two of the same cabinets. As I recorded this on my last video, there was some talk about parting with this cabinet, possibility of selling my Street Fighter 2 Turbo, my Shinku Hadouken. This was, I think I purchased Big Blue before this cabinet, but I've had this for a while. And yeah, I did, I, I purchased Big Blue before this. This is one of my favorite cabinets here, the games list. I do have this on my deluxe, but the look of it with the globe, I might have found a spot where I can hold on to this a little bit longer. But you know, the, the thing is, in this hobby, we do part with things. But enough, enough of the rambling, I just want to kind of give an update with my Street Fighter 2 Turbo. We'll head into Street Fighter 2 Turbo and see if we can find ourselves on Big Blue. Here you can see Room 2. I did set this with Big Blue, so clicking on here, we can join, and I did put in code 1111. Oh, forgot one. There we go. And I am playing like a PD7X, PDX7. So, you know, you can't keep the same name for both cabinets, but yeah, we can, we can play each other in the same room. Look at this. And the same goes for Big Blue. You see PDX7, PD7X. So pretty cool, pretty awesome option to, you know, if you have the same game and, you know, you have the space. It's kind of like having two Fast and Furiouses. You can link them together and play or, you know, two shooters like Time Crisis, Terminator 2. You know, it's, it's another option. Something cool Arcade 1-Up did, especially you know, the, the whole online thing, you know, just being able to get online and play on your arcade one up. All right, I just fired up my Street Fighter 2 Deluxe. You can see this is PD7 Lucky. So yeah, you have to have a name. Gosh, I don't know if I've had all three of my Street Fighter 2s on at the same time for, you know, it's, it's been a long time. We're gonna click in Street Fighter 2 Turbo, go to online, and we should be able to see room two, that big blue and Shinku Adukin are, are connected to, look at this, PDX7, PD7X. So we have, uh, I think this one was Big Blue, and this was Shinku Adukin and, and PD7 Lucky. Like, that's unbelievable. Like, you can link all these together. How wild is that? Like, we could watch this match going on, you know, just kind of do spectate. It's because it's on right now, to kind of change in subjects. It's just to make it easier on myself you know, at the end of the day, if I do have to part with the Street Fighter 2, this cabinet at least has the same beat-em-up games that my Street Fighter 2 Turbo Shinku Hadouken cabinet has. You have Battle Circuit, you have Captain Commando, Armored Warriors, actually Strider, not, not really a beat-em-up, but still the same. Actually, every game on here is identical to that Street Fighter 2 Turbo, but what I bought that one for was Final Fight, playing that online, Captain Commando playing it online, and of course, Cane of Dragons. I mean, this game is right up there with Knights of the Round. And actually, just like Big Blue, the marquee might be a tad on the, the dim side on this one as well. I don't know if it's the, if it's the marble kind of granite background, but it, it's just, it's not as bright. So the fact that these two are actually next to each other, I did kind of pull this out to give, give myself a little bit of room to, to go through these. I've just kind of gotten used to it, but as far as you know, the quality of the marquees on either cabinet, on any of the three, they're good. I mean, there's nothing you really have to change unless you want to have them actually brighter, but yeah, it does help having the same games on two of my cabinets. It's just a completely different style. Just a cool incentive. I just kind of wanted to show that. I know we're kind of focusing on Big Blue, but just, you know, the perks, like, you know, you have three Street Fighter II cabinets, 
Yeah, but you know, you can link them together. Okay, I'm having too much fun. I mean, look at this. You have this track mode on, and then we head over to this cabinet, the same track mode is going on. So it's like we have two of the exact same things happening on two different cabinets. And if you're unfamiliar with how the online works, if you just hit your live button, kind of access is going in and, and, and leaving a game, you know, if you're connected online. And by hitting us, it just takes us right back to the lobby. And then our B button, it just kind of becomes second nature when you're looking at the buttons. It's always the second button from the left. And that will just take us right back to the lobby. And getting Street Fighter 2 Turbo wasn't so I could, you know, play someone else here and having arm room. It's the games list was completely different. That was more beat em up heavy, more my style. Big Blue is a heavy fighter. There's Champion Edition Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Street Fighter 2 Puzzle Turbo, and then the Dark Stalker series. And this is the only cabinet that you have all three of the Dark Stalkers and they're online. The Night Warriors, Dark Stalkers Revenge, and Vampire Savior, Lord of the Vampire. So, you know, you have the trilogy on here, which that's why a lot of people would want to mod these controls. They want to make it into, you know, the ultimate, you know, have it, having a better control deck because of the fighters on here. Me, I bought this for the luck, not for Saturday Night Slam Masters, but for Knights of the Round. And the only downside of this game is I wish it did have the three players. I wish we could get somebody else, a third player to come in here because when we go to live, we'll see if there's anyone actually playing on Knights of the Round right now. In the lobby, it's only two people. I wish there was a spot, you know, you can play four player games, you can play Simpsons four player, X-Men four player, Turtles. Why couldn't they have just made this a three player for games like Knights of the Round? Also, Eco Fighters and Capcom Sports Clubs. There's 12 games on here. There's 14 on the Street Fighter 2 Deluxe, on the Street Fighter 2 Yoga Flame, and Shinku Adukan. Those three cabinets, different looks, but all the same 14 games. You know, there's plenty of variety on this cabinet, but the game that I play, it's not Capcom Sports Club, it's Knights of the Round, and that's that's why I'm gonna keep this along with, you know, just the, the look of this cabinet. So I just kind of wanted to go over, you know, the two years, you know, how is it held up as far as beat em ups? It's, it's perfect. It's a fun looking cabinet. And it's, it's funny because the cabinets that weren't really on my radar end up staying with me. You know, cabinets that I, that I couldn't wait to get that I really wanted. We actually sold some of those. I did not want big blue. And here it is, you know, kind of a staple in this room. It's funny how things work out. I think the only way I get rid of this cabinet is if I upgraded it. If they came out with an XL Big Blue, as long as it had Knights of the Round, you know, I think I would do it. I think I would upgrade. But until then, I'm going to keep this cabinet. Might actually put a coin door in. I, you know, I just I don't know what I want to do about this artwork. But it is such a nostalgic cabinet. And height-wise, I mean, you can just see how much taller Time Crisis is. Time Crisis does sit on a little bit of a riser booster, but it is nice having it kind of back to back with Time Crisis as you know, two of the, uh, the tallest cabinets I have. And you know, it's just crazy that you know, they can go this high, but then they can go that low with the control deck. They can, they can give us grills, they can give us coin doors, and they kind, of, they kind of skip it on here. And it's interesting that this cabinet and Time Crisis have a lot of similarities, especially with the fact that the speakers are, are right in the front, the marquee's so big. So I think it's a good pair. And that's another reason why, you know, if I'm gonna keep both of these, this is an ideal spot. Like they have to be back to back, kind of kind of the Wolverine uh, saber tooth, back to back. Well, that's gonna do it for this two year kind of follow up review. If you come across this cabinet, at $3.99, I think it's a total buy. $4.99, it's a little high, because for $4.99, you could get the Deluxe, you could get Yoga Flame, you could get Shinku Adukin a little bit lower. Unless you're looking for the beat-em-up, like if you want the Dark Stalker series, this is the cabinet to get. If you want the beat-em-ups, 
I suggest picking up one of the other Street Fighter 2s. There's work you gotta get done on this. That there, there's things that I recommend you know, that needs to happen. Now, when I purchased mine, I did buy it on Amazon. I had Amazon points, I had credit, uh, gift cards, credit cards, gift cards, and I'm not making this up, I paid out of my own pocket $150 for Big Blue. I got everything you're looking at, plus that stool over there that's, that's kind of holding up the water bottle. So for me, you know, for basically buying this for $150, you know, I just can't, I can't part with that. I'll never be able to, to match the kind of incentive that I got this for. But if you can get it for under $400, I think it's, uh, I think it's a good buy. So if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I love this cabinet. And it's, again, it's just funny how, you know, this was not on my radar. I just didn't think it was for me. And now, yeah, it's got a home here. Thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you guys next time. And, you know, final look at that, that ice scraper. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just such a funny line. And, and of course, the, uh, the drive-by, I mean, the holes on here. You know, the, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on Etsy and order those screw cap covers because, I mean, this is, it's bad. This is gonna be, you know, it's right in the front. Like you can see uh, Street Fighter II Deluxe over here. It's gonna be back to back here with Time Crisis, and you can see how nice Time Crisis looks with those screw cap covers. I mean, this, yeah, this has to be addressed. Actually, the funny thing is these used to be on the other side of the room, and right in that order, Big Blue is, was kind of jammed in the corner, and then Street Fighter II Deluxe was, was right on the outside of it, and now I, I kind of flipped everything, and I thought this would be a better look, and then matching it up with Time Crisis, you can just see, I mean, how it's the marquee like it's just how much taller time crisis is because of that marquee we just got to address these holes yeah these uh these are here for the lawn haul and i think that the marquees is you know the fact that they're a little dim does look good on uh you know right next to each other i think it's a good look man this room's tight